heat returns. But then cool weather comes in with a front tomorrow night around 10 o'clock or so between 10 and midnight after midnight. The wind will be blowing with gusts of 30 miles per hour after it's dark and maybe even after midnight. That'll usher in cooler weather for Thursday, but it doesn't warm up after that. It's a cool northwesterly flow that continues to develop, but just enough to cool it down, but not to really bring in much moisture. There could be some showers on Friday up around Sun uh, Stanley and maybe the McCall area. Yellow Pine could get a couple of showers out of it, but the moisture will stay to the north. I still think it's going to be very pleasant. 78 on Friday, warming through the low 80s with comfortable low temperatures. What a great weekend it looks like coming up here. This is the 3rd of July right here on Tuesday, showing 84 degrees. We'll be looking ahead tomorrow to the July 4th forecast. Keep you updated on what's going on as we go towards the following weekend. Hey, maybe because of the heat tomorrow, you might want to head out to Lucky Peak. Here's that Lucky Peak forecast to do a flyby. Come on right over Lucky Peak here and coming into Spring Shore. Temperature about 66 degrees at 9 in the morning. By midday, it's already touching 80. And by afternoon, upper 80s are likely. The wind staying light, the sky staying blue. Uh, the lake will be uh, generally calm and probably some boats on it, even though it's midweek. A great day. And keep in mind, you could be going till 9 o'clock at night before the sun starts to peak down below the hills. Pretty impressive this time of year to be out on Lucky Peak. And look how clear the sky is right now. Vivid look. You could just tell that a cooler air mass came in and cleaned the air out last night. So we've got clear skies. Uh, this is our Toyota dealers tower cam network atop the Red Lion Hotel. No clouds around right now. And the real heat, remember all that deep red we had? It's all to the east and to the south now. There's some severe weather near Billings. They have a severe thunderstorm warning. Morning, but that's the only one I could find that cool air continues to be ushering on in from the north and west. But the heat is just waiting to the south and it will start blasting on up. In the meantime, the 24 hour temperature change. We're 10 degrees cooler at this time than we were yesterday. So there's that cooler weather coming on in. What's going up in the McCall area? Beautiful day with temperature right around 71. We saw it briefly there. A lot of sunshine. I think it will be decent and warm. Really nice tomorrow. But then as we go towards Friday, there's the cloud cover. I had a chance of showers in yesterday. It took it out today. It's going to be a close call. There could be a brief shower or sprinkle, and it will be the coolest day at 63. Then it warms up to near 70 with sunshine on Saturday. Partly cloudy on Sunday. High temperature around 71. Could be a nice weekend, although a little bit cool. Skies are mostly clear right now across the Treasure Valley and all across the Northwest. A couple of high thin clouds drifting on by and there's that thunderstorm uh, watch over uh, warning, uh, severe thunderstorm warning right here uh, south of Billings. These are uh, red flag warnings where the fire danger is really high in southern Utah. We go out nationally. All these orange patches you see here, these are excessive or heat advisors or excessive heat watches in this region in here. The heat and humidity has been brutal in the central plains lately and thunderstorms have been developing severe weather southeast Tennessee and so the stormy weather has been pushing on off to the east. You see right in here we had a tornado warning. There it is right there. Uh, I've got a tornado warning here and a severe thunderstorm warning here and this is pushing through. This is just east of Springfield, Missouri. So Springfield's fine but points to the east could be having issues. So we had some breezes today. Tomorrow the wind will be light. It will be hot outside but look at tomorrow night at 1025. The gusty breezes come back in and that will cool us down. My exclusive true view of tomorrow's weather today shows blue skies plenty of it and then high temperatures popping right back up into the low to mid 90s could get even hotter than 94 in the Western Valley 93 in Boise light wind and sunshine the Boise mountains will be warming up nicely benefits of a cool morning and a warm to hot afternoon the McCall area will be cool in the morning with a high temperature close to 80 degrees very pleasant conditions Stanley hits 38 in the morning and 80 in the afternoon. Now that is a pretty good looking forecast and you'll see for the Magic Valley uh, the heat comes back into the 90s again for the Magic Valley. Our weekend forecast looks amazing. Low 80s, <laughs> upper 70s on Friday. Boy, wow. nice temperatures. Like it's it a lot. Amazing. Yeah. All right, thanks Scott. Well, the year